Sai Ram and welcome to the second session of Life Processes. In the last session, we saw about the nutrition of plants and it was just brief introduction to nutrition in animals. So let's see how the processes takes place today and we'll learn about what are the various processes. So if you see a picture over here, you see something called as dental caries. Hmm. Now what do you mean by dental caries? Well, dental caries is you open your mouth and you have something blackish, blackish in your mouth. That means that there is something wrong in your teeth. You need to visit the dentist. And that dentist concludes that there is some worms, there is something, there is an infection in your teeth. That says it's a dental caries. And what the dentist, do, when the dentist does, he takes, he cleans the teeth and he removes off the infection and he cleans it, he puts another artificial teeth. Well, that's called as root canal treatment for your information. Here coming up to this dental caries, as you can see here, enlarged one, you can see there's a blackish show here and the upper layer enamel has disappeared. That's because, because of the acidic, when, the, when we have the food, it's necessary that we flush off floss with the water. If we don't do that, the acids present in the food, they corrode the upper layer and the organisms which are there, they come and they interact and they eat away at it. So that's called as dental caries. Now going on to the next, let's see how the nutrition in human beings takes place. So daily we eat food and so many things we eat and it goes into our stomach, digest, we get energy, we say, ah, oh, now I'm energetic. How? Because we eat food in all types and then it gets digested completely and then it goes up, then it gets digested, assimilated and then it gets adjusted. So you can see there are four to five types. You say ingestion, then it gets digested, then assimilated, then adjustion. So these are the types where the digestion takes place, nutrition in human beings. All right. So first when you see the digestion system consists of the elementary canal. Elementary canal over here and it produces the enzymes which breaks down the food into smaller, smaller molecules. Now, the process starts in the mouth itself. Now, if we see here, here, look at the video, look at the things. So, you see, it's like food is getting dashed, it comes down. So, first, when you eat in the mouth, so what happens there? There, in the mouth, you have the special enzymes, okay? Amylase enzymes. Your saliva is nothing but this amylase enzyme which is there present in your mouth. Due to the salivary glands present here, they secrete the salivary amylase and that gets mixed with the food to make it a soft thing and then it makes it into piece and your teeth, what it does, it chews down, it breaks it into smaller, smaller, smaller particles. So teeth, we have canines, incisors, and premolars and molars. So this is what they do, they break down into smaller, smaller, smaller particles. So once they break down, it forms into a bolus. A bolus is nothing but a round thing where when you ingest, it goes through your esophagus. Once it's going through your esophagus, it moves down. Now, the esophagus muscles are so strong that even when you're standing, if you're standing reverse, or you're saying ulta or you're standing how in a shirshasana pose you eat a banana or drink a water it goes straight away to your stomach that's the power of the muscles so it goes to this esophagus and then it comes on to the stomach where the sliver and the pancreas secrete some of the enzyme which breaks them into smaller smaller particles so the liver secretes the bile juice and it breaks them into smaller particles. So pancreas secretes this pancreatic juice which breaks this, you know, proteins and everything into smaller, smaller, smaller things. Pepsin, that is, pepsin is the enzyme which breaks down this protein into smaller, smaller particles. Then it goes to the stomach, okay? It goes to the stomach where you have this HCl present. Whoa, you must be wondering why hydrochloric acid is present in the stomach. Yes. Hydrochloric acid is present in the stomach. Once it goes, it still breaks more further and also kills the various microorganisms at an extent. And now you must be wondering if hydrochloric acid is there in the stomach, we put hydrochloric acid on our hand, it gets corroded, it gets burnt off. But why not it is 
burning the stomach itself mm, that's a question to ask well that doesn't because you have this mucus layer this mucus layer is so strong that the hydrochloric acid doesn't burn the walls of the stomach so there now everything is over it goes here it goes to the gallbladder now once that is done it goes to the small intestine now here ileum jejunum and duodenum so these are the three parts of the intestine and here what happens is as you go on seeing it goes on to small intestine now the small intestine it gets absorbed there are something called as villi v i l i so villi what it does it is a hair like things which absorbs all things all the food materials and puts it into the blood stream and if there's anything it, it takes it it also helps in the movement of the food so there what happens it breaks it into small more still more smaller particles everything gets mixed up and then it puts it into the blood streams that goes the blood streams to all various parts of the body and that gives us energy like you know all this proteins vitamins carbohydrates minerals everything is resuscitated from one part of the body to another parts of the body through the blood stream then after that process is done the leftover food goes to the large intestine once it goes to the large intestine all this it moves here and then whatever waste material is there the left out water is absorbed and that waste material goes on passing passing and on and that is it further goes on and then it comes to the rectum and to the anus and it is given out as a poop outside so this is how the you know the digestive system works so here as i told you in the mouth it is broken in smaller particles in the stomach the gastric glands produce gastric juice enzymes pepsin and all so that you know it breaks down and then you have this pepsin in the upper part of the small intestine called the duodenum it breaks out this proteins okay and then you have this bile which produces this pancreatic juice bile which produces this fat globules which breaks down this flat fat globules and you have this pancreatic juice which contains this enzyme trypsin and lipase which breaks down this protein into smaller smaller particles and in the small intestine there you have this glands of the wall of the intestine which produces this intestinal juice all right so that is how and then it goes further to the blood and it everything is taken in the blood and then in the large intestine water is absorbed and the waste material is removed through the anus so this is the process which takes place in the digestive process